Worthing FC TV with Chris Agata looking ahead to this Saturday's National League South match at home to Chelmsford City. Aggie, you're coming off the back of this, uh, off, off of two cup wins back to back. What are your thoughts? How are you feeling ahead of this one? Yeah, good. Um, I think it's nine wins out of the last 12, I think. Um, so yeah, we've just got to keep, um, keep ticking them off. Um, you know, I think with the exception of the Cheshire game, I think improvements have been moving, um, performances, sorry, have been moving in the right direction. There's definitely been improvements in terms of performances. And um, yeah, the last couple of um, games in the cup have, have been more of the same, really. Um, Cheshire was obviously a tough game, but um, really good opposition. But we, another late winner. And then Tuesday night, I thought, um, we made the the gap in the the levels of the two teams show. I thought we were really um, professional. Um, but equally, there was enough football in there in terms of the quality to know actually that that works at National League South level as well. So uh, yeah, no, it's um, just need to keep keep moving forwards, keep trying to improve, and and uh, again keep keep ticking off the wins. I know I've mentioned it before, but the, the squad seems like it's in a really good place as well. You've got players like Tammy Babalola on Tuesday yeah. night who, came, who made a really good impact, scored two goals as well. There's a lot of healthy competition for places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, again, like Tammy coming on against Chester, I think had a huge impact in the game. Whether we win the game with, if he doesn't come on, I'm not sure. Um, and then Tuesday night, he followed up um, the Chester performance with another really good performance. Um, Link play back to goal, um, giving us a, a bit more of an old fashioned target to play off um, has really helped us, um, especially as I said, last 20 minutes against Chichester and then again the other night. So um, he's playing very well, but not just Temi and Paco coming to the side and was very good at side centre back. OB coming back into the team after um, obviously a run of games in the side and has come out of it and coming back in looked good. So yeah, no, just echo what you said, really. We're um, we're happy with where we're at and um, you know, competition for places is very healthy and the lads are, are showing the right attitude and going about it the right way. There's no um, sulking or um, bottom lips out. They're, they're all um, showing the right mentality, the right attitude, and they'll want to be a part of what is a, a winning team in a minute. And looking at... Chelmsford, your opponents on Saturday. I'm sure you'd have watched plenty of yeah. them. They're obviously going through a little bit of a rough patch at the moment. I think it's one win in their last eight, but what do you make of them as a player? I think their league position's false. I think they're a really good side. I think they're one of the best teams we've seen. Um, they're very good going forward. They've got a real threat. Um, not just sort of one or two positions as well. There's, you know, their, their whole attacking unit is... A, is um, is an exciting one and they've got a lot of quality um, and then they're supported by um, likes of Charlie Ruff, Alfie Bendel, these guys in deeper areas are um, again very good players and um, you know full backs will be aggressive, full backs or wing backs depending on what they do um, in terms of formation wise you know they're very aggressive so they're really they're really well coached really organized aggressive front foot um, Comfort side, so um, similar to Slough, I think. Um, and I think um, I think their league position is is false, and I have no doubt that they will pick up. And I think we'll see that Saturday in terms of how how good a side they are. It'll be a really tough test. It it, it reminds me of the Slough game, that type of game where I think it'll be two teams on the front foot having a go, not taking a backward step, um, doing what they do, and um, you know. It, to just like, trying to throw heavy punches at each other. If it was a if it was a boxing match, I think it would be, you know, there wouldn't be many um, sort of people on the back foot. Uh, it would be front foot. It would be aggressive, and uh, I think uh, it'd be an exciting game of football. I look forward to it. Looking at the team you have available, um, Ken Wills and Harrison Smith. So yeah. Ken Wills has been away. Will he be back? Yeah, Kano's back. Um, yeah, Kano's back, and then Harrison just. Uh, more of a precaution really, um, his, his knee flared up, um, so with his uh, track record injury wise it, it wouldn't make sense to risk him, especially when he's been playing so well, um, so what we didn't want to do is sort of force him out there and then potentially risk losing him for 
um, a prolonged period of time, especially going into a really busy Christmas period. So we sort of thought, well, with Mo and Temi, we've got enough there. We don't really need to uh, risk Harrison, but he's he's trained tonight, trained really well. So it's a full bill of health apart from Tutty and Taylor Seymour. Um, yeah, the lads that were rested on Tuesday night benefited from that and they're, they're back in tonight. So yeah, it's uh, plenty of selection, headaches, head of the weekend.